Mick. Okay, serving Drag Race history as the first trans man on Drag Race. It's so amazing. Got Mick is everything. I want to get your thoughts on, on Got Mick. Like, Oh my God, fabulous, fabulous makeup artist. I've known Got Mick since um, before she started living as she lives now as a male. And she, I mean, that's the great thing about drag is in our world, it's every expression, age, gender, you are only defined by what you do on the stage. And so the great thing about drag is, I think we're starting to see more like trans men in the world on TV, but being able to see a trans man who likes to still flirt with feathers and rhinestones and, and be like prissy once in a while, right. it's such a healthy expression that is gonna be so affirming for so many people. 100%. Because men are always being told this is what a man is. Women are being told this is what a woman is. And right. people get to straddle any part of each expression gracefully and just make it all look fun. Right. And it is really like, like you said, drag is for everyone. So just, and on this show, the most popular drag show in the world, you see a trans man come in and say, <clears throat> it's for me too, baby. So it gives all everyone chance of color in the crayon box. And I, I live for it. Yeah, and any time that we have somebody who has a unique, I mean, let's be honest too, it's a competition, but it's also storytelling. You have to think, people credit Drag Race for putting drag queens on TV. They show us as competitors, but they also show us as human beings. And that's why people mm -hmm. get so attached to us watching the show, because we're not just America's Got Talent, walk out on stage, sing a song, there's an X you lead. If you see um, a male identifying, like a trans man doing drag, you won't mm -hmm. think twice as now you had got me kind of like pop your cherry a little bit. That's right. <laughs>